You were anticipating that. Okay. <laughs> I asked LeBron on the court, but AD, what are the when you're in a, a possession where you have to get a stop? But what are the things that you're most focused on, and how much of it is it has to do with the opponent, and, and what do you guys go to in those settings? Um, I feel like this team's a little comfortable early in the game. Got their confidence. Um, now they got some guys that can make plays. Kevin Porter, Christian Wood, uh, Jalen Green. You know, shoot the ball. Amarni Brooks played tonight. Who can shoot the shot the ball? DJ Augustine and um, you know they all got they all got hot. You know they made shots tonight. Um, didn't make a lot of shots on Sunday. And you know when you got a young team like that with no conscience, um, like I say, you really don't expect to win. Is you know just go out there and hoop. Um, and they made a lot of shots in, you know, late game when you try to get a stop, you just don't want to, depending on the time scoring situation, you don't want to give up um, a three in our case. Um, and Jalen made a tough ass three, you know, over me, you know, six feet away from the three point line. So, um, you know, we just don't want to give up, give up threes in that, in that situation. Um, but we're able to come out with the win. It, have you ever seen that situation where points come off the board? And I think that because the and how was that explained to you guys? Um, it's at the the scoreboard had 14 fouls. You know they saw four when they called the foul, which means it was the fifth and they shot two free throws. Um, and when they went back to look at it, it was only the 14 foul. You know they put it up there right away, so it was it was really four. Um, and so they took the two points away. But what me, Brian, and Coach are explaining to the refs, well, we lost a possession. You know, we didn't take the ball out or anything. You know, we shot free throws, take points away. Now we just lose the entire possession, which could have cost us the game. Um, so, I mean, they were just saying there's nothing they can do about it and stuff like that. So, um, good thing it didn't hurt us. But, yeah, that's a that was a funky situation. LeBron, well, yesterday evening you jumped on Twitter to announce how excited you were to play in today's game. What struck you in that moment, and did you feel like uh, not only yourself, but other members of your team brought a little extra <clears throat> energy, excitement to the court tonight? Um, I just felt like I had a great 48 hours after our game on Sunday, as far as my preparation, as far as my ankle, as far as me getting back to uh, you know feeling like myself, and I was also uh, having to be watching uh, the Monday night game, watching Pat Mahomes throwing the ball sideways, uh, on the side of uh, defenders running at them and also watching a bunch of NBA games as well at the same time. So, you know, the competitive juices just started flowing. So that's when I sent the tweet up. LeBron, there was that segment in the fourth quarter. You scored 10, 10 straight. Uh, was there something you just were feeling? Was there a matchup you liked or, or a look that you liked in particular? No, it was just about, uh, just about the moment. Um, just loved the moment and just tried to make uh, the best plays to help our team win and you know, at that point in time, it calls for me to score, and I was able to bring us um, a few buckets at the time. AD, um, I know you guys keep saying this is all about you, your team, but you just played those guys on Sunday, and they challenged you guys really hard. What did they do to your defense to make you guys know you have to get better at that? Uh, like I said, they made shots tonight. Um, all their guys shot the ball well. I mean, that whole starting five shot the ball well. Uh, and that guy's off the bench, so, um, you know, hats off to him. You know, like I said, it's a young team that's, that's coming in and just playing with a lot of freedom, um, and they got guys who can play. And on Sunday, they didn't make a lot of shots, um, and today, tonight they did. And, you know, we just try to play the, as best, uh, as good as defense as we can and take the ball out if they make it and, and, and run, you know, and score right back. So um, it was just a matter of trying to, um, you know, contain those guys, you know, and then, like I said, I feel like they got really comfortable to start the game. Um, that kind of just gave them that confidence throughout the course of the game. Thanks, Two twenty-three fast break points, 78 points in the paint. Season high. They've turned the Rockets over 52 times in the last few days. But still, that one came down <laughs> to the wire in Houston. Did have a chance to win. Not their best defensive performance. Yeah, not, not their best defensive performance against a really young team that, you know, some self-inflicted, you know, wounds and, and turnovers that the Rockets made. But after giving up 70 points in the first half, the Rockets only scored 47 points in the second half. And so it, it's going to sound like a broken record, but that is the only recipe for success with this team. 
Right now, they don't shoot it well enough from long distances to get into offensive battles against teams. So they're going to have to be a team that can hold teams to 100 or less, score 110, and, and walk away with the game. It starts getting into 120, 125. I don't know if that's the way the Lakers want to win games this year. Yeah, I mean, look, you don't want to give up 35 points in two quarters, but you know, you want to take your hat off to something that was 19 points, as Fish said, in the third was something they, they need to concentrate on out of the four quarters. Side, they want to make sure the fouls are correct. But, uh, you know, I don't know if there's anything that the league will be able to do in the future because they're not going to just give the team the ball all of a sudden after play has resumed a few yeah. possessions later. How do you score that? Turnover on the ref, you think, or what? Uh, well, it's a home game. <laughs> so Can't give that to the home our, team. <laughs> our scorekeepers yeah. should have made sure that yeah. We got that ball ah, on the side. Too, too many backups to, to allow that to happen. There's at least, at least seven people on the bench, and, and the yeah. timekeepers sh should know that should never happen. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I feel like I've seen a lot in 18 years of covering this league, this team in particular. Um, I've seen guys get a sixth foul and still be allowed to continue playing because there are so few guys on the team to start with. I've seen, uh, you know, myriad four-point plays in one game. I I've never seen this before. At least I can't remember.